Hi, this is our first video that I'm making just for testing. Okay, so in Photoshop, I've drawn myself a rough idea of how I want my website to look. I'm doing a, a three page website called Dog Walking. So let's have a, a quick look at the ideas and how I've organized things. So for a start, it's um, if I want to see the size of the image, I can see that I've set it to 1366 pixels by 768, which I think is a good size for viewing on a desktop. Um, if we look in the layers panel, we can see that I've organized the header area and inside the header, in a, I've got the logo, um, titles, dog walking, different aspects like that. I've got the navigation, the body, and I've got the footer, the characteristics that you'd expect to see in a basic website, header, footer, perhaps some navigation and body. And I've actually designed all three of the pages. You can see I've got the home page there. If I switch on that visibility and then what I offer is the second page where I am, background, and of course the footer area like this. So the whole idea is that I've designed this in Photoshop and I can return and play around with ideas, but it's in a structure and a framework that I can imitate on a web, web page. And I'm gonna demonstrate next by creating a container that has these four areas inside it. In the first two weeks, you were told of the importance of organizing your files for your website projects and on a week to week basis. And I think it might be a good opportunity now for me to demonstrate how important this can be in the long term by creating quickly one of the more complex types of websites, one that you make with a fluid grid layout. Now I emphasize this type of website is one that we'll be working towards at the end of the year and uh, not something that you will be designing at this stage. So the first thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start by creating a new website and I'm going to call it test and I'm going to place the folder in a place where I can get to it easily. So. I've got my own area reserved in my own space. You might use the U folder. And I'm going to create a unique folder for this website. I can see I'll have to give it a different name. So I come down here and I create a new folder. Clicking on this, I'm going to call it test two. And I have to double click on it so that it's up here in order to choose it as the root folder. And you can see the inside is empty at the moment. So that's all I need to do at this moment. I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to connect this to the internet. So I don't need the server instructions. And at the moment I've got an empty folder. So now I'm going to create this more complex work site. And I'm going to do that by choosing a fluid grid setup which is a very clever type of website that adapts to each device that's being used with it. So I'm going to go create. And in fact, it's prompting me already to create a name for the style sheet where all the design information is kept. So I'm going to call that test two. We can see by default, it's going into the correct folder. And a page opens up, which is my fluid grid page and I'm going to save this immediately at the moment it's called untitled 2 and I'm going to save it as of course index because it is my home page and Dreamweaver is prompting me that it wants to create two new files uh, a boilerplate style sheet which will control the fluid grid responsiveness and a response JavaScript, which is something that does the interactivity. I say OK. 
And now I can see at the top that I've got one, two, three different documents that accompany my index page. And here I can see that I've got one, two, three. And when I save this page, I'll close it. I've got these three up here. I think that I should also have a CSS. It's not there at the moment. Um, I'm going to, ah, oh, there it is. It's just appeared. So now I'm going to create a folder. It's a bit of delay by right clicking over the site folder to a new folder. And I'm going to call that um, styles. Or I could just call it CSS, I guess. And while I'm at it, I might make another folder called scripts or JS for short. And I'm going to drag the style sheet into there and I get prompted to update the links. So of course I accept that. And the second one, drag that in another prompt. So you can see Dreamweaver is keeping up with the housekeeping, so to speak. I'm also going to drag this in, updates the links. And so you can see that I've created a work, work site which, in which the automatically created files are filed away in folders and I can see the page that I'm going to work at.